in general, people wouldn't believe it, and they were right. It was just so outrageous, people wouldn't wouldn't buy it. People people couldn't believe it. I mean, most of all of my family members do not believe that 9-11 was an inside job. They do not believe it. And they are intelligent, highly educated. We're talking about medical doctor, doctorates in mathematics, physics, all kinds of people that are, you know, that have an intelligent, high-end degrees. Unlike me, I'm just a regular guy. Never, never got all that. Would not keep from other humans the most important, interesting information we could possibly learn, which is that we are not alone in the universe. We have to do something about it. And the first step is actually believing that we have non-humans and incredibly evil and powerful and high-tech wielding non-humans and living among us. And I highly recommend the movie that uh, David Icke did with Arizona Wilder because she gives the most interesting revelation as to why these creatures are keeping the extraterrestrials a secret and and what the whole cover-up is about, why they're covering up the truth, because they can't have humans en masse finding out that they need human flesh and blood to live. That's what they can't have everybody finding out, and that they're living among us, and that there is a way to see them. There is a way to find them. And, and as a matter of fact, that's not that hard. As I've said, you can take a video camera to your television set and guarantee it if you scrub through it slowly, through all your movie stars and actors or whatever, you're going to see these features start to come out. And the more you look at it and the more you study it, the more you'll recognize it. So this is very important for you to realize and and not be afraid of this concept, because as long as we run from this concept of non-humans, as long as we laugh at it, as long as we push it away and say, no, nope, you know what, I'm, I'm going to lose my job if I talk about this. I'm going to look like an idiot to my friends if I talk about this. I'm going to be ostracized. I'm going to be part of the fringe weirdos that aren't accepted. As long as we do that, you, 9-11 family members, are not going to see justice for your loved ones every second you waste saying no there's no you know, there's no non-humans living among us there's no aliens there's no anything is the longer is another day that your beloved family member that was murdered and you know was murdered gets no justice zip because they're counting on you to not believe and non-humans, intelligent, high technology wielding, vicious, evil, ancient non-humans. In particular, there are the reptilians, but there are a bunch of other ones: canines, felines, arachnids, or scorpions, as I believe the Bible calls them. So there's all kinds, and, and a whole bunch more that we probably don't even know about. But one thing remains is that they're not telling us. They're all unified. All these non-humans are, are unified in not telling us because their whole existence here on Earth and their whole operation and, and what all they get from us, the, the babies that they're breeding, they have women in cages that are specifically in there to give birth to babies to be sacrificed at these ceremonies because babies are a delicacy to the reptilians, okay? This is going to be going on. People in underground bunkers that are being tortured and experimented on, this is going to continue until we as a race mature enough and open up our hearts and our minds enough to realize and take seriously and start waking up our fellow humans by uploading footage or whatever else it takes, showing them, talking about it, developing tests, whatever it takes, developing tests, Whatever it takes to, to wake up people to realize and break through the belief barrier, because that's what's holding everything in place, is the belief barrier. See, these reptilians pulled off 9-11 with the bet that, in general, people wouldn't believe it, and they were right. It was just so outrageous, people wouldn't, wouldn't buy it. People, people couldn't believe it. And then you notice... Things start appearing on YouTube 
which simply, after a while, cannot be denied. People speaking out about it, people writing about it, people sharing their experiences, people uploading evidence, shapeshifter footage. And we have these two things, a huge mystery on the one hand, and then a non-human existence apparently on the other, which is not telling themselves, talking about themselves. When I tell them that identity has been lost But it's their fault for letting society interfere with their lives They lose their freedom till the day they die We in the land of the snakes We in the land of the snakes God bless the snakes Land of the snakes United States snakes Throughout the entire clip, you can see reptile eye at least half of the time, whenever his eyes are in direct line of the camera's view, and when he's not blinking. Well, it's time to vote in the USA, so get yourself to a polling place come Tuesday. Just know that your vote comes with a little catch, see the election is Obama and Romney are skull and bones. They're the secret lizard beast that sits on two thrones. You can see it on a money pyramid with an I, I, L, L, U, M, I, N, A, T, I. They call me crazy. They abduct and sedate to keep them out of your head. You gotta masturbate. Do you know what happens? 
Welcome to your Vote Winnage cast. As I run from the cops, I'll answer a fast. When you toss your ballot in the voting trust, the paper is ground up in dust. Then merge with milk and stir your parts, and the mixture is fed to a hungry horse. That horse is ridden until dead, and they bury its body, but not its head. The head is turned to a pungent cheese, and the ship it breaks for the Chinese. The workers eat the cheese and get on the bus, make the bones and clothes, and ship it back to us. We buy those iPads, Kindles, and Nooks, and use them to log into Facebook, where we argue politics with our friends. And the whole thing starts all over again From pole to horse to cheese to boat None of it will happen unless you vote the election